This story began nearly 3,000 miles away in Canada and ended here on a hilltop overlooking the Welsh town of Caerphilly. Ivan Raymond Trafford was born in April 1921 in New Brunswick, Canada. His parents were farmers and he grew up on this farm in East Centreville. He went on to study at the University of Brunswick and it was there that he joined the officer training corps, gaining qualifications to be a second lieutenant in the heavy artillery. In October 1940, Ivan interrupted his studies to join the Royal Canadian Air Force. After training in both England and Canada, he was sent to the Royal Air Force's 53rd Operational Training Squadron at the Welsh RAF training base in Llandau. By 1940, RAF Llandau held and prepared the increasing amount of aircraft entering RAF service. These included the Lancaster bombers and Spitfires, which were being used towards the war effort. Training Allied fighter pilots from all around the world, united in the fight against the Nazi regime. The base was twice bombed by the Luftwaffe in 1940 and 41, which caused lots of damage to the buildings and injured 17 people. Now a trading estate, elements of the base are still visible today, which have been repurposed to suit the needs of the businesses occupying them. Hangars, the warden's office, the watch office, and even the runway still remains. One half pretty much untouched and the other part of a go-kart circuit. On the 15th of October 1940, Ivan Trafford damaged a Spitfire after approaching the Llandau runway too high. At the time, he had only flown Spitfires for a total of 90 minutes. The Spitfire was the backbone of RAF Fighter Command, a high-performance machine, the Rolls-Royce of the skies. The enemy both feared and envied this formidable piece of kit. And it's from this spot in November 1941 that Ivan left the runway for the very last time. In good weather on the 7th of November, Ivan began a one-hour training flight in a Supermarine Spitfire which consisted of 45 minutes formation flying, followed by 15 minutes individual aerobatics. At 12.50pm, he crashed into Kevin Carney on Caerphilly Mountain. The official investigation concluded that he climbed steeply after low flying and stalled at the top of the climb. The engine cut out and the aircraft spun, bursting into flames upon impact with the ground. The plane was quickly removed, and Ivan's body was taken about a mile down the road to Caerphilly Miners Hospital. This is the telegram informing Ivan's parents of his death. Sergeant Trafford was buried at the cemetery in Llanbrit Major, a short distance away from RAF Lando, where he was interred with full military honours. This corner of the graveyard looks like it's especially dedicated to those who lost their lives in the RAF. Thousands of miles away from his home, a memorial stands proudly on the site of his crash. It took nearly 70 years after Ivan's death for this memorial to be placed on this site. It was only when two local men unearthed a police report about the crash that the idea for a memorial here was born. One of the men, Harry Lewis, was a schoolboy in 1941 at the time of the crash and died in 2010. The other, Matthew Ferris, a teacher at St. Martin's School in Caerphilly led the project forward to completion with the help of the Caerphilly branch of the Royal British Legion. This memorial was a real community project with donations from local tradesmen and businesses for materials and labour. The memorial features a replica Spitfire propeller mounted on stone reclaimed from a local primary school. Organiser Matthew Ferris said, Ivan may be far from home, but he most certainly has not been forgotten. Mr Ferris said the memorial was a fitting tribute to both Sergeant Pilot Trafford and Mr Harris who unearthed his story. Harry said to me, we will claim the Canadian as one of our own. Now his memory will be forever enshrined in Caerphilly Mountain. In memory of Sergeant Pilot R.63053 Ivan Raymond Trafford, Royal Canadian Air Force.
who died on the 7th of November 1941, remembered with honour by the staff and students of St Martin's School, Caerphilly. Sergeant Pilot Trafford's name also sits proudly on the war memorial back in his hometown, alongside other heroes who gave their lives for our freedom. In his last letter home, penned in October 1941, he wrote, If I must pay the big price, it'll be okay. I'll be happy and feel highly favored to know that I, just one-fifth of the family, was the one chosen, and that I was ready and capable of paying the necessary price for the guarantee of the other four-fifths of the family's future freedom and happiness. Yours. Ivan Raymond Trafford.